Good morning, everyone. My name is Jody, and my husband, Kiesel. Take two. Take two, yeah. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jody. My husband, David John, and I have a small farm in North Idaho. And today, we're going to be cleaning up the greenhouse and going to show you what, share with you our plans for what we want to get done this winter in here to make it a little better for next year. But we have all of that to get cleaned up. And it is snowing outside. So we got a little fire in our wood stove. So it's nice and toasty in here. And yes, the birds want to come in and no, they're not coming in. So on to getting this cleaned up. Well, now that we've got this all cleaned up, I'm going to kind of discuss some of the changes that we want to make this winter, early spring. So what are we going to do in here, honey? 
Well, we're going to start off with, uh, first of all, we're going to move the wood stove to where the cabinet is here. So this cabinet is going to actually get shifted and moved down to the other end. Show you where he's talking. So we're going to pull all of the OSB off and then we're going to insulate behind that uh, with R13 insulation. And then in the ceiling, which is up and above, we're going to insulate that half of the ceiling um, again with R13. Um, at the moment, OSB is uber expensive, so we're crossing our fingers that that stuff's going to come down in the spring. We'll see. I know it's not something that has to happen, but it would make it a whole lot better. So, and then from there, our plan is to, um, Joey will be the, the camera operator here. On the other side, uh, we're going to take out what we have as far as our um, mobile tip-out windows. Uh, we're going to take those out and we're going to put halfway up. We'll do a fixed, um, we'll say, uh, Lexon or, uh, or vinyl. I'm not sure what we'll do there. But to dual layer, so an outside layer and an inside layer. And then we'll do the same thing on the top, but we'll have it to where they're mobile panels. So in the spring and summer when it's hot, we can take those out and that'll ventilate the whole thing. And then on the roof, we're going to go ahead and add another layer of um, vinyl. So underneath the, the Lexon that's there, we're going to add another layer, which will be a thermal break. So the idea there is that we can heat this um, with our little heater on low and that'll actually um, really help on the consumption of propane. Uh, last year we used a lot more than we thought. Um, again, nothing wrong with that, but um, efficiency is better. So that's the idea behind what we were doing today is just kind of cleaning it up, getting it bits and pieces ready to go. And from there, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll have to see what kind of pricing there is um, at this point. Um, ducks are going to help us build, it sounds like, clunk, clunk, clunk. So, back to Jody. No, oh, what are we doing down below? Oh, oh yeah, so, my bad. <laughs> we're going to take all of the shells off here, uh, and then we're also going to insulate um, all the way around the outside, uh, and then add another layer of OSB. Um, get all that painted up and that's sealed up. And that'll just add another layer of when the snow is sitting in the spring. Beep, beep, beep. So is that it? No, that was a GoPro turning off. Oh, my bad. Um, sitting up against the that outer wall, it's not transferring that cold through. Um, and again, that'll help us again with the efficiency. So again, we're going to take all of these um, shelves off. We'll probably get in there and repaint all of them. It's about time for them to be um, dried out, painted again. So get all that stuff going. And uh, we'll run around with some, you know, squirting foam and some caulking. Just kind of get the, the tidbits that are bleeding some cold in. Try to get that uh, sealed up as best we can. And uh, again, that's the idea. So um, when this cupboard goes over here, and I forgot that part, uh, we're redoing the solar on the outside. Um, so all the old solar is coming down. This last spring I bought uh, 400 watts of new solar going up on top. And, uh, and then what we'll do there is we'll redo, um, I don't know if you got an angle there, but I got a new charge controller um, here. Um, we'll redo the, a new charge controller which will hold up to 800 watts. We'll add an extra battery in. Um, we've already got the new inverter, which is here, um, but all of that stuff, once it goes down there, will be um, put a little bit differently in there. And uh, like I said, we'll probably get you a video on that too, show you how we process all that stuff. Anything else? Mm, nope, I think that covered your punch list. The punch list of stuff. So anyway, like I said, uh, hopefully you uh, enjoyed us moving around. Uh, a to B, B to C, and C to D, 
and uh, in the speed up camera, of course. <laughs> Okay. So when we did take the black totes and just put them out there, this spring I was wanting to get them amended, got in a rush, didn't get it done, so that soil is thoroughly used as container level gonna use it out in the in-ground gardens just to help because it's got the perlite and everything in it just to help lighten up the soil and hopefully improve that stuff but that's where we're gonna end today's video I hope you have a good day and a good week and we'll see you on the next one bye for now